Welcome to our weekly scripture reading series. I pray God will bless us as we meditate on what God has said. We are continuing to read through the book of Romans one chapter at a time. So pull out your Bible, turn to Romans chapter 3, and let's read some scripture together. What advantage then has the Jew, or what is the profit of circumcision? Much in every way, chiefly because to them were committed the oracles of God. For what if some did not believe? Will their unbelief make the faithfulness of God without effect? Certainly not. Indeed, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that you may be justified in your words, and may overcome when you are judged. But if our unrighteousness demonstrates the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unjust who inflicts wrath? I speak as a man. Certainly not. For then, how will God judge the world? For if the truth of God has increased through my lie to his glory, why am I also still judged as a sinner? And why not say, let us do evil that good may come, as we are slander slanderously reported, <laughs> and as some affirm that we say, their condemnation is just. What then? Are we better than they? Not at all. For we have previously charged both Jews and Greeks that they are all under sin. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks after God. They have all turned aside. They have, are to, they have together become unprofitable. There is none who does good. No, not one. Their throat is an open tomb. Their tongues they have practiced deceit. The poison of asps is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. In the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. And we note that who, whatever the law says, it says to those who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, no flesh will be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God, apart from the law, is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, through faith in Jesus Christ, to all and on all who believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as a propitiation by his blood, through faith, to demonstrate his righteousness, because in his forbearance God had passed over the sins that were previously committed, to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? No, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith apart from the deeds of the law. Or is he a God of the Jews only? Is he not also God of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Since there is one God who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncir uncircumcised through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? Certainly not. On the contrary, we establish the law. I pray you see what God has for you today in this passage, and that you have been truly blessed by Him. If you have a question, prayer request, would like to add an email address to get these in your inbox, please feel free to email me at shinethelightforhim at mail.com. I'd also love to invite you to join us at Riverside Baptist Church in Albany, Oregon. Pastor Blake is currently teaching through the Book of Romans Sunday mornings at 10.30 church is located at 1300 Springfield Drive, Northwest, in Albany, Oregon. You can also contact Pastors Mike or Sheldon by calling the church at 541-928-2133. Well, we'll see you next week on the weekly scripture reading or tomorrow on the Daily Minute. Thank you, and may God bless you.